Also joining me now is Nick Buckley, an independent candidate in that very same election to be the mayor of Greater Manchester. Nick, thanks for joining us. You were, of course, in the last election, the reform candidate. and You've decided this time to stand as an independent. Do you wish Dan Barker well? I wish all politicians well. You know, this is a base, this is a game at the end of the day, politics, so you don't ever take anything personal. Um, just to be clear, you made the decision before this defection, didn't you? It wasn't linked to this defection, am I correct? Oh, no, I made the decision over two years ago yeah. um, that I wasn't going to stand for reform again. And when you're out knocking on the doors in Greater Manchester, it's quite a tough election for any other... Per I mean, Andy Burnham's so well-known. He's had yeah. that position since the position was created. Of course, he uh, became very high-profile during the pandemic. Do you sort of, when you're knocking on doors, do you, when you were the reform candidate, was there a lot of support out there for reform? Um, and do you think, you know, Dan Barker stands a chance now he's switched parties? Well, when I stood last time for reform, reform were brand new, so no one had heard of reform, so, so not really. Um, do they have support now? Um, obviously, according to the polls, they do. But what I'm getting on the doorstep in Greater Manchester is people saying, we're sick of all of it. We're sick of all the political parties. We're sick of, you know, people jumping from one party to another. Um, and they want change. And is reform the change that they want? I don't think it is, because reform are basically another political party. And how can they reform the system when all they do is recruit the same politicians from Labour and the Tories? Bit of a, a merry-go-round. Well, but let me ask you another question. We hear in the ready, reading the papers today that the Labour Party is contemplating resurrecting the northern leg of HS2. This is something, by the way, when I was Northern Powers Minister, I was very keen on. I'm still keen on it now. I think it was uh, a big mistake, actually, for the government to drop uh, large parts of HS2 north of Birmingham. Um, people in Manchester will be very supportive of that. Is that a smart move, you think, by the Labour Party to resurrect the hopes for HS2? To be honest, no one cares. No one, hardly anyone's heard of HS2 or knows what it is, knows it's been cancelled, understand how much it's costing. Um, it's only people in the political world who talk about HS2. What we really need in the north of England is what they used to call HS3. Yeah. So we need to improve the links across the north of England and stop worrying about our connection to London. Because all that does is make makes us better beggars from London. We need to stop being beggars. We need to improve the north ourselves if they build us the infrastructure. Nick, I, I, I completely agree with you. I think actually this is what the Labour Party is trying to get at. They're, they're saying they'll build the HS2 line potentially from Birmingham to Crewe. That is the enabling infrastructure for HS3, that northern powerhouse rail, as it's called, uh, technically, mm. I think now. Uh, Nick, look, good luck in the election. Not too much luck. I obviously hope the Conservatives win. But <laughs> I, I wish you luck. I have great admiration for anyone who puts their head above the parapet. Thank you very much for joining us. It's been lovely Thank to talk you. to you today.